Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to crack a password protected file, um, specifically a PDF file that's got a password protection on it. So this would be quite useful if you've forgotten your password on a sensitive document or something like that. You can use John the Ripper to actually crack the hash of that specific file. Now, the first thing I want you to download is something called um, sudo apt-get install and it's called pdftk. PDFTK is quite a useful package for creating um, PDF protected passwords or files, I should say. So I'm on the desktop on a root terminal access. So all of this is root access and that's really important. Make sure you've got root access for everything. I'm in the John Ripper directory here at USR share John and it's all password um, root access. So if you don't see this yellow warning up there, then you might not have root access. You just need to right click on a, on a file or a folder and it should say open with like root uh, access or something similar then once you've done that we're all good to go now that you've downloaded the TK file I've got a blank PDF document on my desktop it just says really important documents nothing interesting but as you can see there's no password on it so what I'm gonna do now is make sure I can see the file so it's called really important PDF I'm going to create the password protected file now. So I'm going to type PDF TK, really important, .pdf, whatever yours is called, the output. Now for the output, it creates a duplicate with the password protection on it. So the output, I'll just call for con convenience, say pwd.pdf, and then user underscore pw for the password. And then I'll set the password as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Click enter. That will generate it wherever you are located in the terminal. So it's on the desktop for me. So there we go. PWD.PDF. If I try and open it, it's asking for the password. Now let's just assume we've forgotten this password and we need to find out what it is because it's an important document. You can use John the Ripper to help you. Now the first step is just create the hash of the file and then use John to crack the hash that we generate. So you need to go to this location in the terminal. To go to that, you just type cd, make sure you root access first, and you're not in any other directory. Then it's cd forward slash user, or usr, then share, then john. And if you type ls, you should see all of these different Python files, py, pls, and things like that. If you see all of that, you're in the right location. The next step is opening the same directory in the uh, file explorer. Because what we want to do now is we want to copy or drag and drop the password protected PDF. So now if you've got your PDF that you want to crack, all you need to do is drag and drop it into this directory. Again, I stress that root access is really important for this to work. If you don't have this like warning about um, you're using root account, you may harm your system, then you won't be able to drag and drop files into this directory. And once you've dragged uh, that file into this directory, um, you can see here pwd.pdf we can create the hash for it so the way um, to create the hash is you type full stop forward slash pdf to john dot pl and then the name of the file so it's pwd.pdf then um, a greater than sign and then the the output so pdf.hash now it can be called anything so pdf.hash I've just called it that for convenience again. The .hash is like the extension of the file, so that's similar to like a .docx. It needs to be .hash, but the before the dot, so anything prior to that can be just, it can be called anything, like I've just bashed the keyboard or whatever, but I'll call it uh, pwd.hash, or pdf.hash, sorry. And then click enter. That should generate the hash of the file so there we go it or it automatically has and then all we need to do now is use john to crack this against like a dictionary attack this won't take long at all because it's just one two three four five six seven eight nine obviously the more complex the password with the complexity of the length you need more gpu power and, and you already know all of that stuff but let's just see for convenience sake if we can crack this password so all you need to do now is type john pdf hash so it's the name of this file that you've generated. Click enter, and there we go. So apologies if that's a little bit difficult to read, um, but you can see it here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And now let's go back to the password file and see if we can open it. Oh, right, so there we go. Sorry, I already opened it before. It's asking for the password. I'll try one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Click enter, and there we go.
So we basically recovered the password for this PDF document using John the Ripper. Really simple, I just say, and I, like I said, it's just about making sure the root access of everything is correct. Once you've already got your PDF file that's password protected, just drag and drop it into this directory with John. And let John do all the work. <laughs> but that's basically it. If you've got any questions or stuck with anything, uh, please leave it in the comments below and I'll be happy to help. In the next video, we're going to look at cracking more passwords, you know, for like WinRAS, uh, zip files, etc. So thanks for watching. Please hit the like and subscribe and I'll see you all in the next video.